Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you eight fashion hacks that will save your winter wardrobe. You are welcome. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Let's dive in. First hack, tucking your chunky knits. I wear oversized sweaters, chunky knits all winter long. It's pretty much a staple in my winter wardrobe. But when I try to do that front tuck, it ends up looking a little bit bulky and just not overly flattering in my midriff. So instead, tuck it up into your bra or your undergarments. Or you can use a belt as well and hide it underneath. And this way you can adjust where you see fit. You can kind of play around with the cropped area to have it fall where you want it. Second hack underarm liners. I wear thermals all season long, but sometimes, depending on the weather, I find that I can sweat midday, particularly just under my arms. So what I'll do is I'll attach a super thin underarm liner to my shirt to prevent those sweat marks. And bonus, it's actually super comfortable because it soaks up that wetness. Hack number three, sweater shedding. Natural fibers like wool and cashmere are fantastic for winter because not only are they natural and sustainable, but they're also super, super warm. But with that, they often shed. So if that is the case, then all you have to do is just toss your sweater or knit or whatever it is into a plastic bag, toss it in the freezer for a few hours before you wear it, and that will help strengthen the fibers so that they won't shed as easily. If you already have a sweater that has shown signs of pilling or shedding, no problem, I got you covered. All you need is one of these, which is a fabric defuzzer. You turn it on and you just rub it over top of where the pilling or shedding is taking place. I took one of my husband's Club Monaco sweaters here just to show you because his was pilling really badly. Next hack, preventing static. This is such a big one and for me such an important one. Static is so so bad in the winter months because the weather is so much drier. Sometimes when I've gone to put on a sweater, my hair looks like I touched one of those plasma balls I think they're called, like those electricity balls that you go to the Space and Science Center when you were a kid and your hair would stick up. My hair has looked like that all winter long before I learned this trick. So all you need is a dryer sheet. So simple. I actually keep a few of these in my purse during the winter months. All you have to do is just rub it wherever the static is taking place. So if it's in your hair, you kind of just over your hair, or you've got pants that are sticking to you. I hate that feeling. All you have to do is just take the inside and rub wherever it's taking place. And this will temporarily help stop the static. Another trick that I learned actually super recently is taking a safety pin and hiding it somewhere inside your clothes. And then that will actually help stop the electricity and that static shock that we sometimes feel. Okay, next hack is something that I don't think a lot of people would think about, but it actually makes a huge difference in terms of warmth. And that is tucking the hem of your jeans into your socks. This is also really good to do if you have jeans that keep falling out of your booties. This will help keep them in place. But I do this specifically because it adds that little bit of extra warmth because there's nowhere that the cold can seep into. You would be surprised how much added warmth it does get. The next hack is one of my favorites because it is so common, and that is cleaning salt marks. Whenever it's slushy here, which isn't that often, or if you live in a climate where there is a particular amount of slush or just a lot of snow in general, salt marks will build up on your shoes. I have lost quite a few pairs of shoes to salt marks because I just let them sit all winter long or putting your wet shoes that have some of those salt remnants on top of a heating grate or a heater to dry your shoes. Learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna tell you how to clean that super quick. All you have to do is take water and a dash of white vinegar, dampen the cloth in the bowl within a few swipes completely takes away all the dirt and salt. Folding your sweaters or properly hanging them. Folding your sweaters 
or hanging them in the way that I'm about to show you is so important because you are damaging your sweaters or even leather jackets if it's on a particular thin hanger. It not only creates those dent marks in the shoulders that you guys know what I'm talking about if you've had it happen to you before. And they're really hard to get rid of unless you rewash it. But also your sweaters, depending on how heavy they are, they'll actually stretch over time and it ends up looking floppy and not fitted and it just doesn't look good. So I grabbed some cubbies from Amazon and they're super great for space savers as well. But if you wanna hang your sweaters, this is the proper way to hang them. That trick isn't gonna work for super chunky knits, but it'll work for your finer or thinner or merino wool sweaters. And the last hack is avoiding sweater creases. And I'm not talking about ironing or steaming your clothes. I'm talking about when you wear them. That bunching can sometimes happen if you're layering. So I have found a hack that I believe works every single time. All you have to do is add a silk or satin or some form of super slippery soft fabric over top like this cami and then you put it underneath your sweater and this will help deter those creases or bunches. And there you have it, eight winter hacks to save your winter wardrobe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any hacks, leave me a comment down below. Have a great week. Bye!